Hi everyone, and welcome back to Mary's Nest. Today, I'm gonna to share with you how to make your own homemade vegetable bouillon so you won't have to buy those little cubes at the grocery store anymore. Well, this couldn't be easier to make. And the nice thing is about making bouillon homemade is that you know exactly what goes into it and what flavors you like. And you don't have to worry about having extra ingredients that may be in the commercial bouillon cubes that may have MSG or things like that that you may not want in your bouillon. But making it homemade, you know exactly what's going into it. And I'll just go over the ingredients that I like to use that I've found make a really nice vegetable bouillon. Um, first, this is a flat leaf Italian Italian parsley. It's one bunch, just chopped up rough. Uh, this is three carrots, again, just chopped up, and the three stalks of celery, and one leek. Except the only part I didn't use was the very, very top, the tough green part, but everything else, that's just one sliced leek. And then I've got a cup of sun-dried tomatoes, and then two cups of Celtic sea salt. Well, what we're gonna do is add these to the food processor. But before we get started, I just wanna mention, if you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you like to learn about natural living and cooking from scratch and enjoy uh, joining me on some thrifting adventures, I hope you'll subscribe to my channel. And if you do, be sure to click on the little notification bell that'll let you know each time I upload a new video. Alrighty, well, let's get on with this. First, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the uh, parsley into the food processor and as I said earlier, this is one bunch of parsley uh, chopped. And if you see, I've got the little tender stems on. Don't worry about it. That's just fine. And then I've got the one leek also sliced. The oh, one's running away. <laughs> uh, but again, I used all of the leek except the very top uh, tough green part. And then the next thing we're going to do is put in our carrot. Perfect, that's three carrots chopped up. And then I've got three stalks of celery also. We're just gonna add that right in. We're gonna be very full here. <laughs> and then the final ingredient is one cup of sun-dried tomato. I'm gonna add that right in. Now, this is just a blend that I like. You can certainly add different things. You can add some garlic if you want. You can add some ginger, uh, other, you could use an onion if you don't want to use the leek. Uh, it's really very flexible. I've just found that this blend works well for me uh, because when it comes to things like garlic or ginger, stronger flavored things, I like to add those after the fact. So this I can use my bouillon to just throw together a quick soup base and then I can add in the garlic and the ginger or whatever other stronger flavors I want. But um, you know carrot and celery are perfect, the sun-dried tomato is perfect, uh, the parsley works great and as I said with the leek you know if you want you can use onions or scallions you know whatever you have on hand that might be in the onion family. Well, I'm going to go ahead and let me just get this on the right way. And I'm going to whirl this in the food processor, get it all chopped up nice and fine. We're going to make it into a very fine grind of, of the vegetables. And I'll bring you back and we'll move on to the next step. Well, I whirled all the vegetables together in the food processor and for less than a minute and about halfway through, uh, maybe it was at about 20 seconds, I uh, stopped it and just pushed down the sides just to make sure that everything got evenly chopped. And I want to show you that it's, it's a very fine chop. Let me see if I can get this off. There we go. You'll see that's a very, very fine chop, almost a little mushy. So I'm going to put this back on and then we're going to move on to the next step. Now the next step, all we're going to do is add our two cups of fine ground sea salt. And that's just going to go right in on top of the vegetables. I'm going to just move it around like that. Get every little last bit in there. Those of you know, who know me know I don't waste anything. <laughs> Alrighty, perfect. Okay, let me put this lid back on and then we're gonna take it for another whirl around. Well, I whirled this with the salt 
for about another minute or so and I did the same thing I did with the vegetables. I uh, stopped it about halfway through and pushed everything down just to make sure the salt was well incorporated and that's it. It couldn't be easier. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to detach this from the base of the food processor. I'm going to put this over here. I'm just going to move this out of the way and then I'll show you how we store it. Well I've taken the blade out and put that in the sink and I just wanted to show you, see this is going to be a very uh, wet type um, bouillon. So it's going to be a little different than the hard bouillon cubes you're used to at the grocery store. But it's going to taste wonderful. And what I like to do is I like to put some in a small container like this that I'm going to keep in my refrigerator. And then the rest I'm going to store in a larger container which I'll put in my freezer. And then when I use this up, I'll simply transfer that into here and um, continue to use it. And how you use it is one teaspoon to eight ounces of water. So the nice thing is if you're just in the mood for a little, a little bouillon soup in a cup, you can just boil up some water, add a teaspoon of this and it is really flavorful. I think you'll really enjoy it. And if you're just in the mood to make a quick soup, you want to get dinner on the table fast and you need a soup base, depending on how many cups of water you're going to use, just add one teaspoon of this to every eight cups of water. And you've got a fabulous base uh, for, for a wonderful vegetable broth. So you can use it in um, any recipe that calls for a vegetable broth, just mix your teaspoon with your eight ounces. You have a cup of vegetable broth. If you want to make a soup, like a vegetable soup or any soup for that matter, one that you're adding chicken to or beef, this makes a wonderful base to get you started. And you don't have to worry about going through the process where you've got to chop up the onion and the carrot and your mirepoix and your celery, uh, so on and so forth. You can just use this gets you a wonderful flavorful base and then add your other ingredients and you can have dinner on the table in no time. So I'm just going to go ahead and fill up this container and this one will go into the freezer and now it's not going to freeze because of all the salt. So when you're ready you can just scoop it out and put it into your smaller container that you keep in your refrigerator. And the life for this I would say is about six months for the one that you keep in the freezer and maybe this one about three months. Now it's not going to go bad because the salt is a wonderful preservative but in terms of the flavor strength uh, it's about, I, I, in my opinion from what I've used, it's about, um, I find it lasts about a nice flavor about three months and in the freezer about six months and that's perfect because uh, I think we're more inclined to make soups and use bouillon uh, during the cooler months. So this is the month of September when I'm making this and this is going to last me through the whole fall and winter which is going to be perfect. Well I'm just going to go and finish uh, filling this jar and get ready to put it in the freezer but I just wanted to let you know for the full uh, recipe for this that you can print out or read online, please visit my website marysnest.com. And if you like this video, I hope you'll give me a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you'd like to learn more about traditional foods cooking like this, uh, natural remedies, cooking from scratch, uh, joining me on a few uh, hill country adventures, uh, thrifting and whatnot, please subscribe to my channel and be sure to click on the little notification bell that'll let you know every time I upload a video. Well that's all for today but I want to thank you so much for joining me and I look forward to having you join me again right here in my Texas Hill Country kitchen. Love and God bless.